Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Your old buddy Tim back with another video. And in this video, we are going to Decatur, Decatur, Alabama, uh, a thriving metropolis, just about 20 minutes or so to the uh, southeast, or is it southwest? Southwest of Huntsville. And uh, we're continuing our series where we are looking at uh, the average home price in a given market. And then we're going to take a look at what homes are available in that price range. And then what is your monthly payment going to be? So we've already done a video on uh, Huntsville. We've done a video on Madison. And as I said, we're going to do Decatur in this one. And then we got one more coming uh, in Athens. And we can do more if there are certain areas that you would like to see, just drop them in the comments below. Um, just to give you a reminder, the average home price as of now, this is the end of October, in Huntsville, it was $343,000. In Madison, $405,000. In the city of Decatur, property values are a little less, but they are on the uptick. Um, right now, the average home price in Decatur is $259,000. 321 so right at two hundred and sixty thousand dollars so what i want to do is uh talk about what's available indicator within that price range since we're looking at 260 we'll probably go 255 to 265 i want to look at what's available uh, we're going to look at some homes we're going to look at some photographs and then i want to see okay how much is your monthly payment uh, at the current interest rate, which is floating around 8% right now. So, hey, uh, before we get started, do me a favor. If you like what we do here on the channel, uh, the information that, uh, that we bring to you, uh, give me a uh, thumbs up, click the subscribe button, click the little bell. That way you never miss another video. And as I like to say, God forbid you miss these videos because they are an entertainment value. They're free, and that's what they may be worth. All right, so I'm going to go to my computer, and we are going to go to valleymls.com. That is our public-facing website for our local MLS, and in my opinion, the best place to search for homes. So again, we are in the city of Decatur. Now, Decatur is in Morgan County. Uh, it encompasses a fair part of Morgan County, but we're going to specifically look at things in the, uh, in the city limits with a Decatur address. All right, so our average home price in Decatur is 260 So we're going to go five on either side, 255 to 265 We are looking at uh, homes in the city limits. And let me sort these by lowest to highest. Okay, looks like we've got 12 homes for sale in that price range right now. Not a lot. Inventory. We are at a 20 year low of inventory here. Um, as you know, if you follow the channel, you know that the interest rates have slowed down the market, but honestly, the inventory, inventory, the inventory is still pretty tight. And from the looks of this, much of these are going to be new construction. Now, one thing to note about the city of Decatur, uh, it is not the high tech Mecca that we have in Huntsville and Madison. Decatur historically has always been a very industrial town. Uh, the Tennessee River goes right along Decatur there. So there were a lot of manufacturing uh, there, a lot of railroads going in and out. So Decatur is much more of, a, uh, of an industrial manufacturing type town. Uh, also, a good amount of the housing in Decatur is actually rental property. So uh, that's historically, but that is changing. People are figuring out that Decatur is just a short drive outside of Huntsville. So there are a lot of folks now who work in Huntsville that live in Decatur. The interstate system has made it fairly easily to go back and forth. So anyway, let's take a look at what we can get. We're ranging from 255 to 265. And let's just take a look. This is a new construction, new construction, new construction. Let's just take a look at what we've got. There may not be very many photographs here, but um, all right, so this is uh, this is a town home actually, or a patio home. Two beds, two baths, fourteen hundred square feet. You know, not everybody wants a yard, so a lot of folks like the town homes under construction. Completion January twenty four. Interior unit. Uh, let's see. This is in Holland Meadow. 
This is a, uh, most of the Decatur schools are Walter Jackson, Decatur Middle, Decatur High. So you can get a two bedroom townhome, looks like for about 244. I wanna look at a house, show me a house. Let's look at this one. Uh, again, under construction, all right, four bedrooms, two baths, 1,600 square feet. Um, if they're squeezing four bedrooms into 1,600 square feet, probably a decent master. The other bedrooms are gonna be small, just what it is. Uh, let's see, proposed construction, magnolia plan full of curb appeal, uh, opens floor plan, four bedrooms, two baths, large family room, dining area, etc. cetera. Uh, I am a big fan of new construction. Uh, I like it where everything is new. You're not going to have the issues you might with a dated home. You get to pick maybe some of your finishes. So this is a 1,600 square foot, 4-2, new construction indicator for 257.8. Uh, not bad at all. Let's take a look at this one. 1,400 square feet, four bedrooms. They are squeezing in that space. <laughs> Let's see what kind of photographs we've got on this one. Nice elevation. Although I'm, I'm not a fan of this elevation. It looks to me like there's a garage on the front end and a house out back. But this is one way you make good uh, use of square footage. I'm sure this is a, uh, a model home. You got the um, hardwoods, nice paint. You got uh, wood cabinets, granite. And you can see these, these are not going to be large bedrooms in this house, just to be honest with you. So may or may not be... Uh, a great option for you. Let's go down a little bit. Do, 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 do. All right, here's a three bedroom, two bath. This is on Winthrop, so or, or uh, on uh, 2305 Winthrop Drive. This is a 3 2, 1500 square feet. Uh, well kept, meaning it hasn't been updated. Three bedroom, two bath home with tons of upgrade. Well, maybe it has. And a large lot. Living room has a wood-burning fireplace, beautiful vaulted beam ceilings. Uh, house was completely updated. Okay, when sellers bought in 2016, including a new roof, windows, gutter, water heater, etc. So that's good stuff. So let me see if there's anything I need to know there. Not really. Let's take a look at some photographs. All right, so nice two-car garage, all brick. Looks like it's got a decent yard. Covered front porch. There's a nice hallway. Here's another nice hallway. What is it Yogi Berra said? I came to a fork in the road, so I took it. This is basically basically that. Let's see. All right, there we go. Open floor plan, cathedral ceiling. I do like the painted brick fireplace. Hardwood floors. Uh, not bad at all. The high ceiling, of course, makes everything look bigger. Yeah, you got lots of space there. Good wood burning fireplace. Here is your kitchen. So it says this was updated in 2016, but uh, these cabinets look original, but they're nice. They're wood cabinets. Uh, I do not think that is granite. It may be. It's kind of hard to tell now for Micah's. So yeah, that's granite. So it does have granite countertops. Got your standard tile floor, little uh, desk nook with your laundry. There is the dining room. The tile floor extends there. I assume this is the master. Decent sized closet, and there's your bathroom. So you got the uh, double vanity, looks like the same granite. And yeah, so not bad at all. Let me close this out. So, oh, this is one of ours, Amy Butler, one of my favorite agents. So nice house, 1,500 square feet, 3-2 for 259.9. Let's take a look at uh, something else that's existing before we go. Here we are, 936 Tracy Lane. This is a 3 2, 1600 square foot, dark brick. Immaculate three bedroom, two bath, newer roof and HVAC, one entry neighborhood. Home has lots of hardwood, nine foot ceilings, etc. Let's take a look. <clears throat> I like the elevation. Not a fan of dark brick, but that's okay. So, open floor plan, real hardwood floors. That looks good. Uh, you've got uh, decent paint. It's hard to really tell the color of the paint. It looks beige, but a lot of times when you get in there, it's actually the gray. But uh, nice, uh, nice open plan. There's your galley kitchen. Got good space in there. Those look like Formica uh, countertops. You got the wood cabinets. 
Okay, so this is kind of cool. They did, uh, it is open up to the room there rather than being walled off. A little dining area there. This would be the master. I still don't know how they get those marks on the floor. And here's the bathroom. You got a double vanity sink. Looks like you've got a tub there, tub with shower. And then there's your, uh, your toilet. All right, this is one of those, we used to call these a lay down because it almost looks like a, uh, a sarcophagus. It looks like your feet go there and you lay down and uh, let the jets do, do their business. All right, so it is uh, somewhat dated. There's the nice bedroom, got a little bit of a cathedral ceiling there. But, um, you know, as I keep saying, there, there are really two kinds of people. There are those that everything has to be updated when they move in, and then there are those that move into a perfectly good house and don't worry about it. So let's go on up to the, uh, the higher end here. Looks like more new construction, new construction. This one, let's look at the top one here, last one. This is 1527 Fieldstone Circle. This is a 32, 1700 square feet. All right, immaculate three bedroom, two bath. Okay, this is a patio home, let me see. Uh, yeah, patio home, lots of hardwood, carpet, etc. All right, so let's take a look. Looks good from the outside. Open floor plan, good hardwoods, paint. Does have popcorn on the ceiling, which doesn't really bother some folks. Some people like to, it, the popcorn kind of dates it because uh, builders have not used popcorn on the ceiling for decades. So when you walk into a home that does have it, uh, you're gonna know that it, it's an older home. But I do like this. I like the windows on either side of the fireplace. Lots of good light there. Looks like it's uh, open up to the uh, kitchen. Yeah, here's the kitchen, dining room. Decent kitchen. Come on. All right, there's your dining area. That would be your master bedroom, master bath. So you do have one vanity. You got a corner soaker and a stand-up uh, individual shower. And again, this is listed as a patio home, so. And really the only difference between um, a patio home and really just a single family home is the amount of space that you have that doesn't look like this has a garage. A patio home is like if they took condos and just kind of separated them a little bit. Um, so, okay, so that is 265. Let's see, is there anything else we want to look at before we take off? This is an older home. Let's see what this is. 1319 Sheraton Street, so 32, 2200 square feet. So again, the older a home is, the more bang you're gonna get for your buck. It's on a, uh, a third of an acre. Exceptional house, nestled on a sprawling lot. Upon entering the house, you are greeted by an open concept, freshly painted, neutral zones, et cetera, et cetera. Let's take a look. All right, so there's your front elevation. Looks like the garage is gonna be in the back. Okay, so this is a, it looks like a flip because they've removed walls. I can always tell in an older home, if you look at the photographs and there are no interior walls, it's a flip. So they have updated the flooring. Looks like the paint is good. It's got a, it's a big room, big room. Doesn't look like there's a fireplace, which most people do not care about. That would be your laundry. This looks like a bedroom. Another bedroom, how about the kitchen? Can I see the kitchen, please? Looks like new carpet, agreeable gray. So, you know, not bad, not bad at all. There's a bathroom. <clears throat> There's the kitchen, finally. All right, so we have, these are new cabinets, looks like to me, painted cabinets, stainless steel appliances. Uh, does not look like granite countertops, looks more like Formica which is fine, nothing wrong with Formica. All right, there is a, looks like a rec room with a step down into a much larger rec room. That's kind of nice. So this may not have a garage. This was probably the garage at one time and they've turned it into a big bonus room, which yeah, that's what it is. Um, you know, a lot of people don't care about a garage, they just use it for storage anyway. All right, so all right, so there you go. That is what is available 
today in the city of Decatur in the 255 to 265 price range. So let's talk a little bit about your mortgage payment because that's what uh, at the end of the day, everybody wants to know what's this going to cost me a month. So if you purchased a home at the average sale price of $260,000, uh, you put 20% down and you are going to finance 80% at an 8% interest rate, which is what we have roughly today, your monthly payment is going to be about $1,800. All right, let me say that again. If you purchase a, hundred, or a, a home for the average price, 260,000, you put down 20% and you get a 8% loan on the rest, your monthly payment's gonna be about $1,800. So um, not terrible, not as low as it would have been a year ago, two years ago, but still people are so freaking out over these 8% interest rates. I've said this before, in 1988, my first house, I had a 14% arm. And I'm pretty sure that they went up from there. So an 8% rate is really not a terrible rate, okay? Keep in mind that if you buy now at an 8% rate, down the road, when rates do come down next year or so, you will have the opportunity to look at, fin at refinancing. And so depending on the cost of doing so, you may be able to refinance and get your payment down to a more comfortable level. So, all right, guys, there you go. I hope that was helpful. Decatur is a fast growing area around Decatur there. You've got Hartzell, you've got Priceville, you've got Moulton, um, a lot of activity. And as you can see, based on what we looked at, a lot of construction going on right now. So, all right, guys, I hope that was helpful. Hey, don't forget if we can do anything for you when it comes to real estate, we have Leading Edge Real Estate Group. We are the number three <laughs> number three uh, brokerage in town with 300 agents and we are ready to go to work for you. My contact is, uh, information is below and if I can do anything for you, don't hesitate to reach out. In the meantime, get out there, make it a great day. Talk to you soon.